Young Sheldon, pilot, train chugging, train whistle blows, your adult Sheldon. Always loved trains. In fact, if my career in theological physics hadn't worked out, my background backup plan was to become a professional ticket taker or hobo. Train whistle blows. And when I figured out that trains allowed me to prove Newton's first law, an object in motion stays in motion. The same speed in the same direction that's acted upon by unbalanced force. I felt like Neil Armstrong on the moon, alone and happy. Mary, Shelley, dinner's ready. Bebop, Balula, baby. What I say? Giggles, I don't care how dim witted you are. Scientific principles have to make you smile. Of course, nobody I knew in East Texas in 1989 cared about neutron physics. The only neutrons they cared about were Wayne and Fig. Missy, Sheldon, if you don't get in here, I'm going to lick your toothbrush. Come in, that's my sister, and she's done it before. Do the walk of life, yeah. You hear do the walk of life, the hell... What the hell, hell were you doing out there, George? Language. What language? So, I was exploring dimensional kin- kinematics. Admit it. He's adopted. Sheldon, how can I be adopted when I was have a twin sister? Think, monkey, think. Mary, that's enough. My own one's adopted. I wish I was. It can still be arranged. Let's just, now let's just pray. Let's, now let's pray. A moment, please. Sighs. Leave him be. He can hold hands with his fa- family. You won't kill him. We don't know that. George, did you wash your hands before dinner, or even this week? None of your business. Hence the mittens. Mary, thank you, God, for this food we are about to receive, a nourishment of our, of our bodies, and bless the hands I have prepared it, all our men. How come we ain't got no tater tater tots? I am, I am made tater tots last night, George. I can take tater t- I can, I'll take tater tots of a mashed potatoes any day. Let's eat what let's eat what I made you. Can you at least have tater tots tomorrow? Add it, Sheldon. It was a family dinners like this that led me to adopt a mid Atlantic Ocean accent. No voice with a southern accent ought not to be ordering tater tots. No me just everybody's excited to start school Monday. I am, I guess so. Mary, Georgie, freshman a year, that's a big deal. How can I be excited when he's going to be in the same grade as me? Sheldon, Sheldon, don't worry, Georgie. I'm not planning on being in the ninth grade for very long. All the same, he's not the same grade as me anymore, and I'm thrilled. Good luck with the finger, your fingerprinting, painting. You're, you're going to get your ass kicked in high school. Mary, I, I hate your language. I'm not going to be assaulted. High school is, is, a, is a heaven. A high learning. Oh, dear God. Speaking of God, who's going to church with me tomorrow? Joel Senior? I can't. I'm meeting with the other coaches. You can't meet after church? No, Mary. I can't meet after church. Georgie? I've got to study my playbook. I'll go with you, Mum. Missy? Why are you going? I don't, you don't believe in God? No, but I believe in Mum. I'll take it. Missy? Can't ever ask me to. You're going. Son of a bitch. Hey. Ow, laughs. Mary? Missy? Grass. Don't you throw, don't you throw something at the dinner table? George Jr. Adult Sheldon. Joey and Goodwill had to go to Africa to study apes. Missy? Hey, I just had to go to, had to go to dinner. Never the dinner table, at the dinner table. You knock that off, George D. Do you, do you not retaliate? Oh, Onward, Christian soldiers marching us to war with the cross of Jesus going on before. Matthew 9, verse 4. Jesus said, Why would you, would you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts quietly? Do you have evil thoughts? Shh. Just don't think. That's part applies to me. That's fine. Be quiet and listen. I'm only nine years old. Most evil doesn't start until puberty. Please, folk, hello. Philippines 4.8. Funny brothers, whatever it is. Do you have evil thoughts? I'm having one right now. Really? What is it? When we get home, I'm going to kick your little balls. You can't. They haven't descended yet. Mum, what? 
When, when should I be expecting my testicles? Wherever is it uh, admirable? What's wrong with him? Nothing is wrong with him. Now turn around before I knock your lights out. Pastor, think continually on these things. A good fault leads to a good thing. You feel it in your body and you feel it in your adult children. A man was my Christian soldier. Leads to evil things and sits there. And for the record, they descended when I was 15. Roaring. Shelley, it's your last day of summer. Go out and enjoy it. But I have to learn the student study book, handbook. Oh, did you know extreme hairstyles, groaties and moustaches? Not loud, it didn't. I personally find that really very reassuring. Look, what a bit of a day it is. Loud wearing, tired, screeching, dog barking. Go play, go play. Only life were that, were that simple. There I played. Hey, Sheridan. Sheridan. How are Betty Sparks? How are Miranda Sparks? I heard. You're going to high school tomorrow? I am. You're going to have to find someone else to torment in the playground. Torment? Sighed. It means to maliciously harass. Harass? Chickles. That's funny. Well, this was nice. Hey, doofus. Squawks, mum. Good girl. Mum, Mary, what am I supposed to do? His feet are growing, George Senior. Why can't we wear George's old shoes? Mary, he won't, he, he won't hold it your hand. You think you're going to put his feet in his brother's smelly shoes? George Senior. Well, we better damn well better cut back somewhere. Mary, will you please keep your voice down? Door shuts. They're fighting about uh, you again. They're fighting about money. It's a common argument in marriages. Door opens, lights out. Big day tomorrow. Mum, hmm? Do we have financial problems? Don't you worry about that. We're fine. Now go to sleep, sighs. She's lying. She just said that to make you feel better. Mum doesn't lie. Sure, she thinks the earth was made in six days. That's because she's gullible, not a liar. Missy, Mum, Sheridan, can't find his bow tie. Really? I lay down for him. Leave you alone, Mary. He doesn't need a bow tie. It's, it's his first day of school. Let him wear what he wants, Sheridan. Show them, Mum, I can't find my bow tie. Dear Lord, why has he got to wear a bow tie? Could I drive in with you? Sure. Everyone's going to know he's your brother. He's going to be awful, awful for you. Tell me how to shut up. You're not wrong. TV plays quietly. He's got to be here. Show them it's not. He's not. Shelley, stay calm. Ever find it. My tie is gone. My tie is gone. Shelley, you don't really need a tie. I have a t- find of my tie. I have to find my tie. Be right back. Professor Pimpton. There's a bow tie. George Jr. Give me back that bow tie right now. I can't take it. Don't you lie to me. I didn't take it. Don't you lie to me. I'm not lying. We're about, we'll see about that. Stay in your room. She's going to find your dirty magazines. Shut up. Not, you're not having, you're not having a good day. Size, size, ah, uh, size A. Hey, he didn't take it. Then what happened to it? Shelley, Sheldon. Help me find my bow tie. I'll check in the bathroom. I, I took it. Why would you do that? Married a boy who's nine years old and going into high school. Is that weird enough? Give it to me. Come on. It's not just Sheridan. Georgie going to be in class with him. Not the bathroom. Give it. Think about it. There must be a higher lo- love down in the heart of hidden and stars above. Would you like to play a driving game? Not really. I always lose, I know. That's why it's fun. Last. How about license plates with prime numbers followed by cons? Why don't we just talk? Very well. You understand? But some people going to be intimidated by you because of how smart you are. Well, maybe they recognize my intellect and make me their leader. Lord, look after my son. Don't let him get stuffed in a good gym bag. Bring me a higher love, uh, bring me a higher love, distorted sounds of voices, distorted speech, oh dear, dear, yeah. Boy, he has exposed a two. He does. I wonder if he knows is that it's a violation of the dress code. Being a witch, how about, about we lose a bow tie? Hey, look around, honey. No, no, the other kids are wearing one. Well, perhaps I'll start a fad. No, you won't. Please trust mummy. All right, tell you what, I'll take it off. And this weekend, I'll take, take you to radio track. Hmm? Bell ringing and sleep chatter, growling. You'll be okay, I guess. Well, I small, I smell ammonia. I must, it must have done a, a thorough cleaning recently. I like that. 
Mary, I remember, if anyone bothers you, what do you say? My dad's a football coach, my brother's a football player. Good. Hey, mum, look. The girl's pregnant. Congratulations, toilet flushing. Well, that was revolting. All right. This is your home, home room. Do you want me to go in with you? No. Although I could have used it, you in the restroom. Okay, well, you have a good day. And, it, and I'll pick you up after school. Same dawn we came in. Are you crying or having an allergic allergy attack? Allergies. Probably pneumonia. Probably sniffles. Okay. Let the learning begin. It sells. All right, everybody. My name is Mrs. McLaurie. In addition to being your homewood room teacher, I'm seeing some of you in my English class and some of you in the volleyball court. Just to give you a little history, being here at Milford, Medford for 29 years, I've taught some of your older brothers, sisters, and sadly some of your parents. Not much I haven't seen until today. I'm sure you'd be well aware we have a student with us. Despite his, his young age, he's remarkably gifted. Except you all... I bet you all to give him, make him feel welcome. Yes, Sheldon. Per the student dressed in a grooming code, this boy's hair is far too long. This boy wears shorts attire outside of a designated area. This girl's blouse is too hideous, which means I can see a buzz here. Laughter. Thank you. I'll take that into account. All right. We have a few minutes before the first period. I need you all to fill out these forms. What? Also a violation of the grooming code. On page 48, article 5, subsection B. You have a bit of moustache. Laughter. This is a stupid idea. This boy does not belong in our school. Peterson, come on, Vicky. It's just the first day. Why don't we just all take a deep breath here? The hell with that. Five minutes into my math class, you question my credentials. How am I supposed to control a classroom when a kid accuses me of being in breach of the hydrogen code? Well, Herbert, it wouldn't kill you to shower a little more, more often. George, you want to weigh in here? Well, Ingram, Oh, Roberts University is a wonderful school. He said it was imitated by his intelligence. And then he played, offered me to be my leader. Cheers, folk, playing with such senate. Indeed, piano playing, stop playing. Stop playing. Do you know this on it? No. How long have you been, have you played the piano? I haven't pl- done play the piano. Peterson, George, you got any thoughts here? I certainly do. May I tell him? Simple. We don't have a choice. You, well, you gave it a shot. I wish you luck with children in it everywhere, elsewhere, Mary. Oh, no, no. We've got, we don't, know, we don't have a choice. Hey, you've got to be, you've got to stay here. We can't afford a private school. I sure I can't home school him. He's going to be doing calculus and etcetera and something or other. Interference of trigonometry. Guess where I learned that. Yeah, yeah, we know. All I care about is that my son gets the education he deserves. So you're going to have to figure this out. Coach, can you help me out here? Please, it's cool because I'm dying. I'd rather not. G minor, F, F E flat, C minor. You're a perfect pitch. Okay, sweetheart. You should really pursue music. No, no thinking. Musicians take drugs. It's a facility for restroom I could use. Whistle blows. No grunting. Oh, Cooper Stingston. Stingston, you're up. Does. Hey, look, it's the dumb brother. Okay. Blows, whistle, grunting, yelling, whistle blowing. Don't, 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 burg off. That's enough. Hey, yelling, whistle blowing, burg, burg off. That's en- Hey, that's enough. Hey, hey, George Senior. That's enough, Georgie. Georgie, Georgie, stop, stop. What is wrong with you? You okay? No, I'm not okay. Where do you think you're going? I quit. I don't want to play foot anymore. Since when? So right now. All right. What is going on? What do you think is going on? Do you mean, children? You can't let that bother you. Doesn't bother you. You called. A, you got a call to the principal's office. Yeah, no, that wasn't so great. It can't be the same school as him. Well, uh, I don't see what choice you have, right? Ever since he could talk, I quit having any choices. Groans. I know it's hard. I tell you, as your coach, quit your whining, get your uniform on, and you get your ass back out there. But what about, what about my dad? Your dad is having a bad day. Listen to your coach. Can I, can I clock powered by, how can a clock be powered by only potato? I hope so, boys and girls. It's going to be one really boring episode. It's the you need. 
Why can't we watch DuckTales? Because we don't learn anything during watching DuckTales. It's TV. We aren't supposed to learn. To elevate your grips, let's see. Of course, a clock. Missy, go somewhere else. I need to talk to your brother. Why don't you go somewhere else? I can watch Duck go. I hate everybody. Um, it's time for science. Hey, he's about to pa- power a clock with a potato. Not possible. Now listen. I'm in trouble. No, maybe. Just listen. You're going to make... You're not going to make it in this school if you keep ratting people out. But they're breaking the grooming codes and dress codes. I saw one boy with a t-shirt said, which bring bite me. Yeah, that that's terrible. Michelle, let me tell you a little story. Do you ever wonder why we moved from Gaveston to Medford? No. I tend to wonder about the bigger fictions. Okay, well, that's his why. Your dad had a real good coaching job. I saw some grown-ups breaking rules. Well, you do, they do. It's kind of complicated, but the football coaches aren't allowed to recruit kids from other high schools to play even on their teams. You're told on them? Yeah. You know what happened? Just it depends upon the rule breakers. I look fired, children. I ain't got a bad reputation. Oh, that's why you drink so much beer. Just do yourself a favor, okay? Go to school tomorrow and mind your own business. All right, Dad. Are you sad about that you got fired? Mostly angry, but yeah. Maybe a little sad. All right. Let's say grace. Thank you, God, for this food we are about to receive. Muffled playing, praying continues. I hurt children. It is that that was the first time I held my father's hand. Marry our bodies and bless the hand that had prepared it. Georgie, amen, amen. Mary, hey, George Jr. Why, wait your turn, adult children. I wouldn't touch my brother's hands until I was 17 later, years later. Thanks for the inventivation, Perel. I knew, I know, you know what I find comforting. What about, what about, what's that, baby? A world filled with uncertainty. This place be here forever. Clark, hey Sheridan. Hey Sheridan, how are you, how are you doing? 